Are you out of fresh ideas for your DIY projects? Find a number of creative proposals and practical hacks in this video. Today, we'll make an unusual mini photo album. We need white paper, compasses, thin ribbon, wrapping or scrapbooking paper, and white glue. Take a white paper sheet and draw a circle using a compass. Draw the circle near the edge to fit other elements on the paper. Cut out with scissors. Place the cut circle on the paper and trace. We need four equal details. Cut it out. Take a circle and fold it in half. Unfold and crease again. You can crease the fold with a ruler. Unfold. The creases divide the circle into four equal parts. Take the scissors and make a cut along the folding line towards the center. Make another cut. Leave an extra space to the left from the folding line. Cut out the corners of the flap. Fold the cut part of the circle. Crease the half of the quarter behind. One element is ready. Make three more details from the cut circles by following the same steps. When the basic elements are ready, you can start making decoration details. Use a cut piece as a pattern. Place the pattern onto the wrapping paper and trace. Cut it out. Place the detail to see how it fits. Cut out a couple of other embellishments. You can use different paper. Now attach the details. Take a basic element. Add a line of white glue onto the flap. Fold and glue. The circle should turn into a triangle. Make the other elements in the same way. We have four of the same details. Now we should put them together. Add white glue to one element. Place the second one on top and press down. Add the glue over the surface and attach the next one. and the last one. Decorate the album. Attach the cut details to the walls inside. Embellish each division. You can glue pictures here later on. Take pattern paper, turn over the sheet and trace the album twice to get two equal elements. Cut them out. Wrap the album with a ribbon, leaving loose ends on both sides. Cut off the excess. Carefully add multi-purpose glue to the ribbon and attach it to the album. Complete the decorating by sticking the triangles cut from bright color paper to the low sectors. Use white glue. You need to embellish the front sides. Attach the pattern paper elements to the album covering the ribbon. You can add a bright accent. Take scissors and color paper and cut out something abstract. Attach with white glue. 
Add the finishing detail. The unusual mini paper photo album will become an original gift for a close friend to keep forever the best moments of life. In our tutorial, we'll show you how to make a travel scrapbook to keep your trip memories. We'll need envelopes, thick cardstock, color paper, multi-purpose glue, double-sided tape, ribbons, and wrapping paper. Open an envelope and attach a double-sided tape to the flap. You may use another adhesive. Remove the protecting cover. Take another envelope and attach it to the first one. Attach the tape to the flap and adhere it to another envelope. This is the way the travel book base will look. You can Z-fold it easily. Take thick cardstock to make a hard cover. Place it on the wrapping paper. Fold the paper to wrap the cardboard. Crease again. Cut off the corners. Put the cardstock in. Glue the paper and attach it to the cardboard. Repeat for the second detail. A cool cover is decorated with the proper travel themed paper. Add multi-purpose glue to the back of the cover and attach ribbon ends to close the scrapbook. Attach color paper to the other part of the cover to conceal the cardboard. Use tape. Attach the book base to the cover. And another part. You can make the first trip note right now. Great! The ribbons will hold the scrapbook closed to keep the photos in and embellish the craft. Done! It will be nice to keep your trip memories in this original travel scrapbook. This unusual handmade craft can be a perfect gift to a travel lover. In this video, we'll make a family scrapbook to keep photos and memories. We'll need patterned paper, white embossed cardstock, pink cardstock, frame print paper, family photos, ribbon, and multi-purpose glue. Take cardboard folded in half to make the pages. Add white glue to the upper side of the cardstock. Attach another sheet on top. Keep in mind that the scrapbook opens from the right side. Add some glue again, repeating the steps. Make as many pages as you wish. The inner part of the scrapbook is ready. Start decorating the cover. Attach the embossed cardstock. Add multi-purpose glue to the ribbon. Wrap the ribbon around the scrapbook. Find the right place for the embellishments and a photo, thinking out the composition. Add some glue and attach the details. Done! Let's complete the inner part. Add glue to the patterned paper. Its size is a bit smaller than the page. Attach the paper. You can decorate all the pages in this way. The pink cardstock will be a background or frame. You can close the scrapbook by tying the ribbon ends together. Perfect! The cute handmade scrapbook will keep family photos and remind you of the happy moments. In this video, we'll show you how to make a scrapbook photo album. Lay A3 cardstock horizontally. Mark 3 8 inches from the edge. Fold up to the mark. Measure out 3 8 inches from the other side. 
Fold in the same way again. Now the scrapbook will open neatly and easily. Take patterned paper and make pockets. We need two squares. Lay the paper horizontally. Mark 2 8 inches from the edge along the three sides. Use a ruler and a pencil. Fold across the marks. Make a smooth flat crease. Repeat for the second piece. Add some glue to the folded flaps. Use a brush to make it neat. Attach the pocket to the right side of the base. The top of the pocket is loose. Attach the second detail to the left side. We have placed the pockets at the lower part to have enough space for the pictures and decoration. Done! The pockets are placed on both sides of the inner part of the scrapbook. Let's decorate the album. You can use any cutouts of the pictures printed out from the internet. We have chosen a whale as the main character of our decoration today. Fill the empty space by making a collage. Now, let's decorate the right side. We can use shells, buttons, beads, and other embellishments. Start attaching the elements. You may use a brush. Attach the shell with multi-purpose glue. Decorate the front side. Place colored cardstock on the patterned paper. Put a bright picture composition on top. Glue the paper. Make corner cuts on the cardstock to put the picture in. Use a craft knife and a ruler. Don't forget to lay a cutting board. Like this. Continue attaching the details. The front side is ready. We need more cards to put the photos in. You can measure out the cuts. Mark the equal spacing from each side edge. Place the ruler. Cut down. Make a few more cards of different colors. Now, let's decorate the cards. You can use dry flowers, letters, and other embellishments. Attach non-paper elements with multi-purpose glue. Cool! Okay, we can place the photos. You can put any notes, photos, and cards in the pockets. Perfect! Any pictures kept in this wonderful scrapbook photo album will be special. You can keep your favorite photos in a beautiful way. In this project, we'll show a simple DIY way of making stamps and decorate the scrapbook with the stamped paper. We'll need color paper, patterned paper, acrylic paints, white cardboard, and a potato. Let's start with the pattern. Draw a swallow on a piece of thick paper. Better look up what it looks like. You can find a picture of the bird on the internet or in a book. Any image consists of simple shapes like a circle, square, oval, etc. Begin with them defining the shape gradually. Cut it out. Done! Make a floral pattern. Outline a tulip shape as it will be easier to make sharp petal ends than round ones. Cut it out. Done! Cut the potato in half.
Place the pattern on the half. Carefully cut out the image. Make side cuts to remove the excess potato layers. Take the pattern off. We don't need it anymore. Correct the shape. The swallow stamp is ready. Let's make the floral one. Follow the same steps. Now we can work with the paint. Color the flower. Stamp the paper. Add a couple more flower stamps. To create bright images, paint the flower each time before stamping. You can add some shades. Add white paint. Mix the color. Enrich the palette. You can make a multicolor stamp. Just cover the flower with various paints. This is it! Let's continue! Mix the color again. Paint the swallow. Make stamped paper in the same way. Now, take color paper. Stamp patterned paper. Let's make a scrapbook photo album. Take white cardstock folded in half. Add white glue to the page. Place another sheet on top. Attach all the pages in this way. It's time for decoration. Attach color cardboard onto the front side. The cardboard should be a bit smaller than the scrapbook to create a nice edging. Let's use the stamped paper. Attach it to the green background. Take a beige strip. Imitate a ribbon. Make V cuts on both ends. Add another element. Attach the detail to the cover. Decorate the scrapbook pages in the same way. We have prepared a number of stamped sheets, so let's embellish the pages. Cool! Done! This wonderful stamped scrapbook photo album will keep your photos and embellishments on your shelf. In this tutorial, we'll show how to make a cute holiday scrapbook. We'll need color cardstock, patterned paper, tags, embellishments, fabric tape, and paper thread. Take A4 cardboard, place it horizontally, and measure out two points at equal space beyond the edges. There should be about half an inch interval between the marks. Repeat for the bottom of the page. Join the marks. Take an empty ballpoint pen. Score the lines. You can fold the scrapbook. The central pleat will define the thickness of the scrapbook to keep all your holiday photos. Take another cardstock. Place it vertically and measure out four inches beyond the edge on the top and bottom. Join the marks. Mark five inches beyond the edge. Repeat for the bottom. Connect the dots. Cut out the square. Make several of the same elements of different colors. Now mark half an inch off the edge. The page is placed horizontally. Link the dots. Score the line. Fold across the scored line. 
Add white glue to the flap. Attach the page to the base as high as possible to have enough space for other elements below. Glue the rest of the pages side by side to each other. Take another cardstock piece, place horizontally and measure out 5 inches beyond the edge on top and bottom. Join the marks. Place the cardboard vertically. Mark 5.5 inches off the edge on the top and bottom. Connect the dots to get a square. You can cut it out. Separate the top right corner by drawing a line from the top left corner to the middle of the opposite side. Cut it out. Now take patterned paper and repeat the previous steps when you made a square with the cut corner. Make it smaller. Reduce the size by 2 8 inch across the edges. Cut it out. Place the paper in the center of the cardboard element. Mark the angle. Draw a line. Cut it out. Add glue to the back of the paper. Attach to the cardstock. Add some glue to the cardboard across the edges. Leave the angled part free of glue. Attach to the inside of the scrapbook. We've made a pocket for photos. It's time for the decoration. You can attach the tags to the cardboard of the color you have used to combine the outlook. Fill the space. Continue decorating the pages. Use the fabric tape. It's very convenient. Just cut off the needed length. You can place the photos. Add some glue and attach. Glue the cardboard to decorate the front cover. Attach the patterned paper. Attach the element to the cover. Glue the theme tag on top. Now you can use the embellishments. The small details will complete the composition. Just find the right place for them. Cool! Add some details inside. Attach with glue. Add the paper thread as a finishing touch. Wrap the scrapbook several times. Cut off the excess. Tie the ends. This fabulous holiday scrapbook will keep your holiday impressions safe for a long time. Leave your comments. Give your thumbs up if you liked it. Share the scrapbook craft ideas with your friends. Join us on our social network pages. Be sure to subscribe to our channel to find lots of different scrapbooking and card making ideas.